What's up guys, Thrash Damon here again, and you're tuned in to Belligerent Amateur Power Chord Central. Today, we're gonna shoot out the Bogner Ubershaw Rev Green and the Bogner Ubershaw Rev Blue. Let's do it. Alright guys, Kyle here again. Thank you everybody for tuning in for this one. Today, uh, I'm super pumped but kind of sad because I'm shooting out the Bogner Ubershaw Rev Green with the Rev Blue. I'm doing this video today because Joe Balliger bought this off me and I have to get it out to him. So, I will no longer own this amp after today. It's going out the door so I figured let's shoot it out with the Rev Green and let's see if uh, all the fuss about the earlier revision being better is true. Now, the internet loves to talk about these things. Usually everybody comes to this uh, weird conclusion that earlier revisions are always the better revisions. Which in reality, you know, it's all up to personal preference, but I really don't think the manufacturer would change their circuit to a less desirable circuit on purpose unless there was a good reason for it. I mean, the reason that Mesa did it in the early 90s is to appease the players of the time. Now, originally that amp was designed uh, when hair metal was still kind of popular, but they had to change it over with the incoming grunge craze to kind of fit that sound a little bit more. And with the uh, Ubershaw in the early 2000s, I mean, something similar was probably happening. I don't really know. Uh, I don't work for Bogner, and I wasn't really playing guitar at the time, so I can't answer that. But I'm going to shut the hell up, and we're going to get to shooting out these two magnificent amps. Now, I've already done a demo on this amp, uh, really got it to where I liked it. The Rev Green, I've hardly spent any time with at all since I got it. I actually literally got them on the same day, if you can believe that. Haven't played them a whole lot, but first impressions, the way I have them dialed in, I just kind of dialed them in to suit my ear. I didn't really dial them in with uh, matching EQs in mind or anything like that. The Rev Green seems to have a little bit more bass focus and a little bit more upper mid presence, but the mids are not as broad. Here, you've got more bass. The gain does not come on as quickly, which I've read that a lot. The gain comes on immediately on the Rev Green uh, on the knob, so there's not a lot of variance in how much gain you get on the gain channel here. I'm going to say gain a few more times because I like the word gain. Uh, the Rev Blue has much more sweep in the gain knob, so you can kind of dial it and fine tune the amount of saturation that you want. Uh, here, not so much. It's kind of balls to the wall right off the bat. The Rev Green has some really, I mean, both of these amps are weird to dial in by, by your eye. That's why I always tell people, dial in amps with your ear, not your eyes. If you have to dime your mids to get it to sound good, then dime your mids. If you have to turn your mids completely off to get it to sound good, turn your mids completely off. Most of the time, I'm going to feel a little upset about that, but you know what? If it sounds good, that's all that matters. You have to make sure to dial in the amp with your ears because not all of the EQ controls on every amp are going to work the same. Uh, with that out of the way, the presence on the Rev Blue acts as a mid-shelf. Uh, it acts the same on the Rev Green, but the mids are just kind of placed differently on the dial and on the amp in general. They're a little bit higher, uh, whereas here they're a little bit rounder, a little bit more mid-frequency altogether going on. But the weird part about this whole thing is the treble on the Rev Green almost acts as like a volume it's it's really odd we'll go over to it okay so here it is belligerent amateur all right so here it is when we turn that treble up the volume goes down Now I'm guessing it's not so much the volume as to what EQ frequencies it's actually adjusting with as you're changing it, but really I find it pretty much unusable unless it's below noon. I mean that probably just about overloaded my mic there. 
So yeah, it's kind of crazy the way that it affects things. So like I said, you can't dial these with your eyes at all. I'm gonna put everything at noon just for fun. By the way, that intro that I was playing, it was boosted. I am not your typical Ubershaw player who wants that massive wall of sound um, and tons of gain and low end. I am a thrash guy, you guys know that. I love my mids, I like lots of upper mids, so I dialed these amps in to suit my taste. This may not be the best demo for the guys who like that massive wall of sound and kind of scoop mid thing going on. That's just not me, that's not how I dial these amps in. I'll do it for this video, but generally I like a brighter, tighter sound. So uh, with that being said, I had my Deadwell Duality DX Boost slash Noise Gate pedal on, on the modified Tube Screamer setting. Sounds amazing as always. Okay, so we're gonna turn that off. We're gonna put both amps, everything at noon, except for the gain, which I'm gonna dial down. And I'm sitting to the side, so if they're slightly off, forgive me. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Rev Green, everything at noon. So everything at noon, they're pretty drastically different sounding. Um, let's turn the gain up to just above 3 o'clock on both amps. We're still on Rev Blue. As you can hear, overall, like I said, there's more upper mids going on in this amp quite a bit. This one is, is rounded off in the frequencies a good bit more. So let's, uh, the presence on both acts as a mid shelf, but we'll turn it up, see what we get out of that. We're on Rev Green still. The bass at noon on the blue is huge. It's, it's, it's moving my walls at this point. So a lot more bass going on here and a bit more of a rounded EQ. Let's dial those mids up on both and the bass back a bit. And we're gonna dial up the gain on the Rev Blue a little bit. So. Okay, Rev Green. Okay, so in this setting, uh, the Rev Green sounds much more scooped out to my ears. So we'll dial the treble back on both, and that will kind of broaden the Rev Green out a little bit. And on here, it doesn't really, the treble doesn't have a huge effect on the tone, I've noticed. So we're still on Rev Green. So overall, the Rev Green to this point is, is definitely more mid scooped. It's more lower mid bass with kind of like a spike in the upper mid frequencies close to the treble range. Uh, the Rev Blue is just really round and, and kind of a little bit more balanced sounding, I guess. <laughs> Sounds really good, actually. Damn you, Joe. All right, let's uh, try to get dialed in for a little bit more optimal setting to my ear. We're on the Rev Blue. All right, so we're sounding pretty good on the Rev Blue. Okay, let's go over to the Rev Green. So on the Rev Green, to get the mids where I want them, I almost have to turn the Presence, which is the mid shelf, like all the way up. And 
and that kind of imparts uh, a little bit harsher frequencies uh, in the upper mid section. Which in my opinion is kind of a good thing for a mix that's gonna cut through a little bit better. So yeah, I'm, I'm already almost running out of time here, so. So yeah, it's a little bit more angry and aggressive sounding, I would say, than the Rev Blue. And like I said, the gain comes on a lot faster. The green sounds a lot more saturated, where the gain's higher on the Rev Blue, but we're less saturated. So let's bump that up some more. Yeah, so the mids are placed higher on this one, like I said, on the green for sure. Let's kick on the dead weld again. Man, the boost really transforms both of these amps. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, so overall the blue is a little bit more round um, and just fuller sounding, kind of a little bit more balanced and it sounds really good. The green is a little bit more lower mid based and with an upper mid spike, it kind of sounds a little bit more pissed off, but I don't know if it's more pleasant to the ears or not, to be honest. <laughs> I think my preference would be the Rev Green just because of the type of tones that I tend to go for and the type of player that I am. Let's play a riff on each amp and then I think we'll call it a day. Right, guys i think it's going to be much like the early revision rectifiers versus the later revision rectifiers if you want a tighter punchier sound with a little bit more upper mid aggression much like you would want a rev f on the rectifier series you'd want a rev green on the bogner uber shawl now if you want that big fat full wall of sound type thing going on just uh, a massive amp that kind of dominates you know all the frequencies at the same time without 
getting too over the top, the blue would be it. So me personally, I like this one a little bit better. I like both of them. And if I dial the blue in uh, really, really carefully, I can get it exactly where I want. The last video that I did on it sounded amazing. So um, I'm keeping the Rev Green for now just because they're hard to come by. I will get another Rev Blue or a Twin Jet in the future for sure. Uh, both of these amps sound amazing. I actually am going to be late for work, but I don't care. I want to play one more riff. So we're going to play, uh, let's play a Buried Alive riff because that sounds fun. We're on Rev Blue. <laughs> Right, guys that's gonna be it for me today thanks again for watching this video I really appreciate it if you liked it please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel as I always say at the end of all my videos we got tons more to come I've got tons more amps to demo so if you like sick high gain amps please like this video and subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you on the next one Kyle here again see you guys soon <laughs>